Hey, say what? So, we are here to discuss some facts we thought were very interesting about after reading um, facts about vaping. And my fact that I found most interesting was from parentsagainstvapes.org. And it's 14 vaping facts you need to know. Like, from 2017 to 2018, there was an increase in cigarette use, like 78% in high schoolers and 48% in middle schoolers who use or currently use e-cigarettes. And 1 in 5 high schoolers use e-cigarettes and 1 in 20 middle schoolers use e-cigarettes. I think the fact that these numbers are so high are insane. I feel that kids should not have access to these things. And I'll get more in detail about that in a minute. Uh, flavors are meant to hook kids. Like bubblegum, unicorn frap, you know, flavors like that. Um, mango were meant, the sweet flavors were meant to hook the kids. And 8 in 10 adolescents who vape started with a flavor. Adult smokers, the numbers are even higher. 90% of adult smokers began before age 18, and 95% of nicotine addicts began smoking before age 21. I think the Texas 21 and Tobacco 21 laws that were put in place on September 1st in Texas were very beneficial to try to bring down these numbers. So, nicotine's effects on the adolescent brain and body are just as bad as nicotine is as addictive as heroin. To think that a legal drug that is allowed to be sent out into convenience stores is as addictive as an illegal substance that is meant to kill people is insane. Nicotine changes the adolescent's brain and impairs cognitive functions including working memory, processing speed, emotions, and impulse control. I don't know about y'all, but knowing that nicotine can change my brain and impair my cognitive functions and my working memory, I don't think I'd be able to make it through Algebra 2, especially my processing speed. My algebra pre-AP Algebra 2 teacher goes way too fast for me not to be able to keep up with her. And nicotine and other chemicals in jewels and vapes are linked to cancer uh, and lung disease, heart disease, and may damage other vital organs. And I know this is true because vapes are known to carry the chemicals such as benzene, uh, formaldehyde, and uh, diacetyl, which are known chemicals to hurt. And easy access for youth online and in stores. There's 12,000 convenience stores currently that will sell e-cigarettes, and online it is an easy access as most websites, all you have to do is click the checkbox, yes, I'm 21, or yes, I'm 18. And I know that for the longest, that's all you had to do with Jewel, and now you have to put in your last four digits of your social. So they are cracking down on trying to limit the uh, underage nicotine use. Now the stats on Joule since we were just talking about them. Less than one Joule pod which contains about 450 milligrams of nicotine is equal to one pack of cigarettes. Joule delivers nicotine up to 2.7 times faster compared to other e-cigarettes and the target marketing it says equals youth oriented ads on homework websites, YouTube, social media and growing. The fact that they target homework websites and YouTube is insane as kids are normally on such websites try to help them out with problems they don't understand like me in Algebra 2 and YouTube everybody uses YouTube and it is known that kids are more on their phones now due to YouTube and that Jewel is marketing onto YouTube Social media is even worse as every kid, if not every kid, uh, has a social media and the fact that they can do free advertising on there with the kids also using the products is, I feel, is an epidemic. Thank y'all. I'm Dagan Smith and this was my TA Tobacco and E-Cigarette Vlog number two.